Welcome back, beautiful Tri-State area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up in just a few minutes, we have our culinary and wine segment brought to you by Biche Cucina. Today, we're featuring celebrity chef Darian Bryan, one of Western New York's hottest chefs and founder of The Plating Society. You may have seen Chef Darian on Food Network's Chopped. He's truly a Jamaican who brought the heat to Buffalo, no pun intended. He's known for his private dinners and meal prep for Buffalo's favorite NFL players. He specializes in everything extra, from his signature fedora hats and chef jacket styles to his colossal surf and turf. He believes that chefs are rock stars and should be celebrated as such. Their food makes people happy, and according to Chef Darian, they should feel and see that love too. He loves to merge Caribbean cuisine with fine dining dishes, hence his nickname, the Fancy Jerk. Darian is the personal chef for Buffalo Bills stars like Stefan Diggs, and he's even gone viral multiple times for the wild meals he prepares before game day. Today, he's joined by VIP Peter Guimatis of New York City. Peter's managing partner at Biche Cucina Restaurant Group, founder of Tipsy Girl Wines and owner of Biche Cucina Restaurant right here in Midtown Manhattan. Quite the celebrity himself. In fact, Biche Cucina is always swarming with famous people, from Mark and Donnie Wahlberg to 50 Cent, from Rod Stewart to Bruce Springsteen. It's all the housewives of New York, of course. They all head to Peter's for a fun night out. Today we're chatting from Buffalo to New York, kitchen and recipe hacks that, that are going to make your life easy. Now, according to a new customer curiosity study, produce marketers, suppliers, and retailers should know that the overwhelming majority of trend-setting food consumers are most interested in discovering recipes that can be prepped in less than 30 minutes. And it's not just quick and easy meals they crave. Global flavors are driving the next food trends. So how will today's consumers' curiosities influence tomorrow's food trends? Let's find out. Welcoming now to the show is the amazing chef Darian Bryan and VIP Peter Guimadis. Welcome, superstars. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Okay, Chef Darian, let's start with you. So even the trendsetter want uh, they want it symbol. The, the, these food these food trendsetters. More than eighty five percent of respondents in a recent survey are very or extremely curious about easy under thirty minute meals, revealing that even early food adopters are looking for inspiration to save time and resources in the kitchen. What are your go to hands on ingredients, condiments, or spices when preparing under thirty minutes? meals so i like to go for like stir fry it's delicious it's fast you can make rice in less than like 10 minutes and it's pretty much whatever i have in the fridge i got some eggs i got some beans everything is going in it my kids love it my wife love it so it's quick and easy and you can make it healthy too Peter, what are your what's your favorite you know uh, go to under 30 minute meal or is there a spice or, or ingredients that you typically keep handy well, you know, everybody always thinks I cook Italian at home, but I stay away from Italian food because I have it every day. Um, you know, with my Portuguese background, we have a really great dish, which is called, uh, it's chickpeas with boiled potatoes, eggs, caramelized onions, um, black pitted olives, and you could have a vegetarian style or you can add uh, codfish to it and you can create all this under 30 minutes. My daughter loves it. It's a real well-known Portuguese dish. It's very easy to make at home and it's kind of like idiot proof right idiot proof. Now, yeah yeah, like... yeah um now it's it's interesting because you know as a mom i always keep certain condiments in my in my you know in my kitchen that i could grab very quickly like certain chicken stocks and beef stocks and flavorings what are your go-to um condiments that you like to reach out to really quickly to spice up meals all right well you know since i have a restaurant i have one of the biggest kitchens in midtown so at home, I don't really carry a lot of stuff except Red Bull and wine. But what I do always carry in my fridge is eggs uh, because, you know, you can do a lot with eggs. It has a lot of protein. I work out a lot, so I like to come home from the gym and have eggs. Um, I always keep some rice around because Portuguese people, we do a lot of uh, with rice. Um, avocado is a must. There's always got to be avocado in the house. You can make a quick spread. You can add onions to it. You can add tomatoes. Um, so I, I don't keep a lot of ingredients in the home. No, those are great. What about you, Chef Darren? So for me, I always got yogurts, bananas, eggs, 
like our boy legs just boil them at a time so they can just and the go just whip one out very quick. Peanut butter is really good too. Lots of fruit because the kid, my kids are five and four. So in the mornings, they, they don't have time to wait for any big breakfast. So eggs fast to whip up, bananas, fruits, yogurt. It's just um, a nice go-to on the fly. I love it. Now, what, uh, Chef Darian, you have little kids. What safe, practical kitchen tips are you recommending that parents uh, set up younger children with for back to school? Any easy ideas they can make safely? I mean, your kids are a little bit younger, but what about that, you know, those tween years, eight to 12 year olds, say? Um, my thing is always get the kids in the kitchen, get them familiar with ingredients, fresh and healthy ingredients, and just get them involved. And I would say lots of like, you know, beans and nuts, grains, and, you know, fruits. So that's what I give my kids right now. Healthy, safe, and it's nutritious. And it's nutritious. Yeah, I always like to keep fresh fruit cut up in the fridge for my daughter or at least some bases that she could, she's seven years old. She's uh, almost eight. I she feel like I eat home. those fruits more than those kids. I'm always eating them. I, even though I have them for the kids, I eat it more too because it's so yeah. easy and it's good for you. <laughs> Yeah, anything that they could grab, pre-snacks. Now, Peter, curiosities differ between generations. I mean, Generation Z members are most curious about new cooking skills and techniques, while baby boomers, some of our older crowds, they rank global flavors as their top curiosity. And and time-pressed Gen X, like, you know, we're always on the go, and millennials, many of whom are juggling family and careers, look most toward quick and easy meals. Now, your daughter, Michaela, is... Uh, is now in college. What invaluable cooking skills did you set her up with and how can you balance simplicity without compromising nutrition? You know what the valuable skills I set her up with? A black MX card. She goes to $300 omakasis and drinks wine. <laughs> that's, that's the valuable skills I set her up with. But she really loves food. She's involved in the restaurant. She's actually a pretty good cook. She uh, loves to do uh, guacamole dips. She's always trying to copy our VJ salad dressing, the Caesar one, because she says it's the best. But I don't even give her the ingredients. So she's trying to create her own. But, you know, I make sure she has her salads, make sure that she has her fruits. But she's 18-year-old now, right? So, so how is she in the kitchen? Has she picked up cooking skills? Could she make herself a meal from scratch? She can. She does this uh, shrimp dish called uh, shrimp musambique, which is a spicy shrimp. And she usually cooks like at the beach house. She loves to cook uh, shrimp boost and beak. She loves to do uh, avocado dips. And she loves to actually create her own salad dressing, which is always a hit or miss. I love it. Yeah, that's that's something that my, di my dad, he owned diners growing up, Greek restaurants all through Montreal and even Miami. And I was always in the kitchen. It was It's invaluable to know how to cook. Now, Chef Darian, first, um, when we talk about functional nutrition, uh, a lot of people want to know about this when it comes to nutrition, while immune support and plant based foods might be among today's top food trends. Some of the people coming into the food chain, like early adopters, are saying that they're most curious in learning about how foods can support cognitive and gut health. So when cooking for your family, you have little ones, what key ingredients do you add to your recipes to make them wholesome, nutri nutritious, flavor filled, but gut friendly? Um, I would say ginger, because growing up in Jamaica, like, we use ginger for everything. You have a bellyache, you're dizzy, put ginger in your food, or you can just eat fresh ginger. So ginger and garlic is always my two go-to to give them, you know, better gut health. And vinegar is good, too, like apple cider vinegar. My kids, they're, they're funny. They'll eat anything. Whatever we eat, and they're eating it, too. So that's what I love. They're young. But they're not all about the chicken nuggets and all that stuff. Like whatever we eat, they eat, which I, I love that about them. Oh, that's so important. And now, Peter, um, this question is for you first. So consumers are eager to explore new flavors and simple is the way to go. Mo like close to 80 percent of early food adopters. And I keep saying early food adopters because it's people who are really starting to get into the food scene, if you will, are very or extremely curious about global flavors and cuisines. So what, Peter, what cuisine do you enjoy cooking the most? And is there a particular global flavor that you can't resist? So I'm a big linguine and clams fan. I try not to have as much of it these days because I'm actually watching my gut. Not the inside, but the outside, how it looks. Okay. So 
anytime I go to a, a restaurant and they have linguine and clams on the menu, I always order it because I want to compare it against ours. And I also want to make sure because everybody says my clams never have any sand in them. So I always <laughs> order it from other restaurants just to see if their clams are better than ours. So that's usually when it's I travel. It's important to I, have clean the, clams. You have to have clean clams. That goes for everything in life. I agree. Now, Darian, what it, what's the particular global flavor that you can't resist? Don't tell me Jamaican because you cook a lot of that. But I want to. I want to. So what, but, what's your what's yours? Um, I would say Asian. Like my kids, they love Asian food. So like, you know, let's go to a Chinese buffet. Let's do this. I just can't resist it. Everywhere I go, I'm like, I'm just going to try Chinese food here. I just, I just love it. There's just something about it. It's because I never I really have it in Jamaica too. Is that so new to me? You know what I mean? I'm like, I just eat it every day. And to cook, I would say um, French cuisine. That's like my thing. I love French cuisine. So I just merge my Caribbean background with the French cuisine. I've learned all through culinary school and hospitality. So. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, 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 I envision a collaboration in the future between you and Peter. You could come cook French at Biche Cucina. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also have our La Bar concept that we're starting in uh, Palm Beach. So oh, nice. French, I can get some uh, tips from a chef there. And yeah. I'll add a little yeah. Jamaican flavor to it. I would love to do that, actually. I'm your guy. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. Absolutely. And, you know, Chef Darian is all about the threads, right? So he has a whole line. I think Peter is going to love this. Um, talk to him about your clothing line. <laughs> so I create my own um pretty much i got a guy who create my uh my suits for me and all uh, my uniform my chef jackets so these are called my a chef's tails it's like the actual i'll send you some photos it's a tail coat with a chef jacket right that so create all of these because i'm like i didn't want to be the average chef and for who i cook for and what i do i can't just show up in a regular jacket no Them it's high profile make fun of me all the time like that's cheap i'm like you know what I pay almost two thousand dollars per jacket. I got like fifteen of them. So I love it. Good for you. I love I'm a it. fashion guy. Love it. There's no reason you can't be fashionable in the kitchen. I like that. Yeah. Well, the reason why you're both so successful is because you're both fashionable. You're outside, uh, on the front lines, aesthetically speaking. You're always receiving VIPs and dealing with high, you know, profile social uh, socialites, if you will. So. Yeah, people judge a book by its cover in every industry and everything that glitters is gold to most people. And yep. we are in, in a vain, vain world. So to his point, you got to you got to dress the part. Well, we are out of time. Thank you so much, gentlemen. This was quite informative. I always love, love getting, you know, kitchen hacks and ingredients from different perspectives. Peter, you are very, very entertaining. And Chef Darian, it's always a pleasure to have you on. Then Thank we'll see you at BJ. I'll have your glass of wine ready for you right around 3.15. I'm, I'm right there. All right. <laughs> Guys, you have to definitely check out Peter Grimatis. Head directly to their website at bichicucina.com. Now, all of this is the coolest, coolest episode. But the most important thing you have to take away is that everything in the kitchen should be calculated. It has to be safe. Don't let your kids come home and turn the ovens on. All the tips that we talked about were, were specifically with adult supervision. And the best and easiest thing to do to get your kids the meals and the ingredients they want, even when you're not home after, after uh, school, is to just prep it and put it in containers and make it accessible for them. That was our culinary and wine segment brought to you by Bicha Cucina, celebrity chef and influencer Darian Bryan, Western New York's hottest chef, founder of the Plating Society. That was Peter Guimaras of New York City, Peter's managing partner at Bicha Cucina Restaurant Group and founder of Tipsy Girl Wines and owner of Bici Cucina right here in Midtown Manhattan. Head to at Peter G for NYC at BiciCucinaMidtown.com and at ThePlatingSociety.com. You're listening to a moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this.